Another big story we're following. An 18-year-old and a 14-year-old are in custody for killing a man during an armed robbery last weekend in Cannes. And tonight, we're learning exactly how police identify them as suspects. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live where the shooting happened in southeast Baltimore with new information. Mike. Nikki Stefan, it was a Baltimore County robbery detective who first made the identification. The victim was shot a single time in the chest with a semi automatic handgun. You can see some of the pictures of him here at the T Mobile store. This one was made by a former co worker showing him throughout his life. A lot of grief here about what happened. Terribly sad story. This is another part of the memorial here, left over from the vigil last night. People have been coming and putting notes and flowers on this. We've been trying to get in touch with lawyers or family members for the teenagers charged in this case, but have so far been unsuccessful. The teens charged in 23-year-old Fabian Sanchez Gonzalez's murder remain in custody. This is a booking photo of 18 year old Arthur McCaden. The other suspect is just 14 years old. WJZ obtained McCaden's charging document, which contains a lengthy list of charges that could put him behind bars for life. It also explains how authorities tracked him down. Police say they made still photos from surveillance video inside the T Mobile store where the shooting happened and sent them to neighboring law enforcement agencies. From those pictures, a Baltimore County robbery detective recognized and identified McCaden the day after the shooting. Then, on Wednesday, a second person who knows McCaden also identified him as the person in the store. You know, I love you, bro. Those who knew the victim are still struggling to understand why this happened. We are devastated again because it's the same type of crime, same type of family, grieving again. And Hispanic or black or white, we're still our family here. It's one Baltimore, I thought. According to court documents, Sanchez Gonzalez, who worked at T-Mobile, was shot one time Sunday evening in what investigators previously described as a robbery gone bad. Police recovered a single 9 millimeter shell casing. They have not said anything about the weapon, how it was obtained, or if it was recovered. At a vigil shortly after the arrests were announced, the victim's heartbroken brother spoke about his pain. It's a pain that can't be described, that can't be like, oh, I'm gonna think about something, it will go away. No. What keeps me going and makes me get stronger by the minute, probably by the hour, it's insane to me. It's gonna get better, bro. We got this. And you're looking live at some of the candles that remain lit here in Fabian's memory. Now, a family friend tells me they're going to have a walk for justice in the case on Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock that's going to go from a church on Conkling, the Sacred Heart Church, here to the T-Mobile store. Reporting live in Canton, Mike Helgren, WJZ.